So I just thought I would give you guys an overview of how Pinterest works. Um, just a quick tour of my personal Pinterest account. Um, this is what I see when I first log in. Um, the way it works is you have a pin button up here. So let's just say I wanted to go to another website um, and I'm browsing around and I see something I like um, and I've decided I want to add it to my Pinterest pin board. Um, so I'm going to pin Charity's picture. When I hit the pin it button, it's going to pull the images um, from the actual web page that I'm looking at. And all I do is choose the picture I want to add. And you can add a description. Hit pin. And now when I go back and look at my pin board, it's going to show me her picture. So it's there um, and others can see it and repin it. You know, you, they can always repin, they can add a comment to it. Um, really very simple. Um, there are other things you can do. Whenever you go to Pinterest, obviously you're going to see pins not just from you that you pinned, um, but you're going to see pins from everyone else you follow. Um, so if I'm browsing around and I see, you know, something I like that's kind of cute um, or kind of weird, <laughs> I can always go to that person's pin. and I can repin it. And this is sort of how um, how images kind of get distributed throughout Pinterest. So kind of a neat concept. This is one that I pinned earlier. And you can also run searches on Pinterest. So let's just say you want to find a topic that's particularly interesting to you. Um, These are just pins from, um, you know, that people have pin pinned that are related to dentistry um, that you can kind of browse through. And if you want to repin and share that information, you can definitely do that. There's all kinds of stuff on here. Um, and people put <laughs> big descriptions in a lot of them. So but that's basically how it works.